Hi, this is Denise with Foursquare Microform, and I just want to talk a moment about combing. I skipped the combing section in the book before, not because I don't like combing, it's because I couldn't find my combs. I don't use these particular pair of combs very often, and mostly it's for two reasons. First of all, um, I find combing causes, I don't know if it causes, but it produces a lot of waste. Let's, let's say it like that. It produces a lot of waste, a lot more waste than is produced when I'm just flicking the ends. And so I'm always so conscious about, you know, no fleece left behind. So I do the best I can with methods that will give me um, what I'm looking for without wasting a lot of fleece. And also, these particular combs are really suited for long wools and mohair and things like that, but not very well suited for fibers that have this kind of crimp and they're kind of fine and so I discovered that when I bought these guys it was a long time ago and I thought I bought them based on the type of fibers that I use which really hasn't changed much I just didn't have a really good understanding of buying combs I should have bought something that was two pitch or or more and with a thinner tie to work with a better range of fibers. So that's two of the reasons why I don't uh, use these very much. But uh, basically, uh, it's the principle is pretty easy. Same thing I do with my hackle too. It's basically you load it on, generally cut ends first. Okay. You hold the combs at right angles to each other, okay? Move it away from your body, and you're passing it just through the tips of the locks, okay? Okay, each pass, you want to go a little bit deeper in. going until I have pretty much most of the fiber onto the second comb. Bam. Now if this had been the crimpier part of this fleece I had showed you before, I just would I wouldn't really been able to separate into the fleece uh, with these particular combs. They're just too large for that. With a two or three pitch or whatever more rows of tines. Um, I would have been more successful with that crimpier wool. So at some point, I will buy, you know, when I have the spare change, I'll buy a set. I was thinking about giving these up, but I don't know. They are useful, just not my usual. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this off. Good. Let me get rid of that waste. I never really use waste much. Okay, I'm going to slide this on. Then you switch combs. And you do the process all over again. Okay. Oh, it should be this way. Okay. Go a little deeper each time. You pretty much do this to your satisfaction. Now, if you don't have combs, you can actually do this with a pair of Afro picks. Sorry about the beeping. I forgot to turn my phone on Do Not Disturb, so it's just sending me notifications. Okay, I'm gonna put that back on there. It's like a little pump stuck here. Let me get that off. Okay, so more waste. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that waste off. Okay, so you just keep going back and forth like this until your wool is clean and in order. However many passes you think you need to make. Yeah, I could pretty much stop at this point. There's no reason for me to keep going. Other than I just want you to kind of get an idea of what's, what's going on here. Okay. 
I just need to be able to move. Okay, so I'm getting that off, throwing this out. Okay, so there we go, basically. Now, once you've got that all done, what you can do is you can just lift it off and deal with it from there, or you can pull it off. You can use a Diz if you like. Um, a Diz is one of those things I have and never actually use. I got this one from Ashley Ann. Uh, basically, most of the time, because I just pop it off and I spin, you know, from the tips. But you can pull it off, use it off neatly. And that, that's pretty much the whole, you know, basic um, motion of hand combing. Except if you don't have combs. Uh, you can give this a whirl with Afro picks. I prefer the black Afro pick with the fist. That seems to be the strongest pick. Um, the metal tines are really deep into the plastic, and the plastic is generally a hard plastic, so they seem to last longer. They can actually handle this kind of motion. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. The honing your combing scale section of the spinners book of yarn designs you can join us in our facebook group spin by design the link to that group is in the description below i hope this was useful for you have a great day